So it's March and we're going to grow some potatoes which we're going to harvest as early baking potatoes. This is about the earliest really that it's feasible to do this and the objective is to get your potatoes in full leaf by April and that allows them to take advantage of the sunny weather that we get in April and May and therefore the potatoes will be ready to harvest sometime in June. It's not exactly clear when. Best potatoes I find for this are Charlotte's. I'm going to do a few of these. These are nicely chitted. Maybe slight, the chits are maybe slightly too big, but it doesn't really matter. That will be absolutely fine. And we're going to pot them up into these pots, which I think are two litres. Um, just in standard multi-purpose compost with no additional nutrients. So it's a very simple process. I'll just show you quickly how to do that. So basically we just want about a double handful uh, and then hopefully you can see this in the light. We're basically just pushing that potato down in there so that we can get it completely covered. And that's it. So there's no, <laughs> no trick about this. We're basically then just going to leave this inside ideally in a conservatory, sunny windowsill, something like that. And we'll come back to it in about four or five days. Okay, so here we've got something four or five days later and it's just breaching surface, which is great. Just keep it lightly watered, no huge amount of water at this point in time. Uh, maybe uh, half a cup full or something like that every few days. Okay, so we're back and these are now 18 days old. So they're looking really nice, really good leaf development on them, um, ready to be potted on. And I'm going to pot, because these are baking potatoes, um, I want only two tubers in a 35 litre uh, container. So I've put about four inches in the bottom of this container and I'm going to use this year this organic potato and vegetable feed. And we want about half a handful per tuber. So I'm going to put one handful in at the bottom. The potatoes like rainwater. A little bit of that. So I don't want it soggy, I just want enough water in there just to help the plants get started. Okay, let's take this out. This is always a bit tricky. Turn it upside down, give it a bit of a squeeze. There we go. So you can see there, beautiful root system on that really nicely developed so we'll pop that in there so I've also made sure that these pots have been reasonably well watered beforehand again I don't want them absolutely dripping with water but I do want them you know reasonably moist it just helps the compost and everything hold together again Lovely root system on there. Drop that in. So now you can see that when we fill this, we're basically going to cover these leaves. And we do need to be fairly careful now when we're filling these up. Now, later on in the season, when you've got plenty of time, you really don't need to worry too much about how you about this process because. All this is about getting these plants with a really good root system and a really good leaf system by April. Um, whereas if you're just doing your main crop or your second earlies, you can just plant the tubers in the, in the uh, container and earth it up completely and just let them grow through because you're not in a race against time. Whereas here we are, we want early baking potatoes two, or th two months early so you've got to do a few tricks to achieve that. So anyway, I'm going to get this filled up. As I said, be quite careful when you're filling it. 
Okay, so that's full now, and our objective is now to get leaf breakthrough in about three or four days so that this plant can keep on building root system and photosynthesizing. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit out of breath because I've been shaking this. It's really important to give this a really good shake uh, and lift it up and bang it on the ground, uh, which I won't do on here because I'll probably break my bench, um, just to settle all this compost really well. Now this compost will probably settle even further than this uh, and you can keep on topping it up if you want. So there's the tubs and I've actually put them in my conservatory uh, just for the first two weeks and then we'll go in the polytunnel and again that's just to give them uh, an extra good start. And it's important to notice actually with potatoes that they love eating their own leaves and that's one of the reasons to let all that leaf develop early and then bury them because now they'll feed on those leaves, reabsorb them and it'll give them a really big kickstart to growth. And so here's some of my early new potatoes for example and these were only um, planted in their pots and covered a week ago so these are only, uh, that all that top growth has come in the last week and they're just actually starting to flower. So if you want more details, I do have a growing guide for early potatoes, all types of early potatoes and late potatoes. It's in my year round growing guide section of my ebook, details of which you can find in the description below. It's free. And here we go. Here's the one on potatoes. And this actually is quite useful because it does go through all of the kind of fine detailed steps as well having, as well as having links to these videos it covers fertilizing chitin all of that sort of thing all the basic things starting in pots which is what i recommend you do if you're growing early and super early things the kind of logic again as to how to grow things and why uh, the kind of heat balance of heat and light that you need uh, in order to get things really nice and early. Why I like growing in containers, a bit on storing potatoes as well. My favourite varieties for different times of year. And then this is kind of the section where I go through kind of techniques around growing early potatoes. And I got some videos from last year showing my super early potatoes, salad potatoes, and my early baking potato experiments. And there's a video in there where you can see the sort of harvest that I got on the 4th of June. So I was really, really happy with that. A fantastic harvest, I think, that early in the year. And this year, obviously, I've been pushing those dates even more and so we're hoping to harvest early bacon potatoes in April this year but we'll see how that goes. Um, I think early June is the best proven date from starting them in March. So I just wanted to show you the progress on these plants and they're two months old now they've just finished flowering and I've got three plants like this so these will last us uh, if the harvest is as good as I'm hoping it is about six weeks I should think so I'm really pleased with them now unfortunately I can't actually show you the harvest because it's the 3rd of March I think today and now is the time I recommend you actually start early baking potatoes rather than when I started these which was the beginning of January um, but hopefully you get the idea from these plants as to kind of what you expect now they are obviously 
very big with lots of top growth because they've been grown in slightly lower light levels than uh, you'll be growing in yours. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty pleased with them. I'm pretty hopeful. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.